Hey guys, Maniac here, uh, Maniac V2, and I have another uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. This is going to be how to create um, good lighting without any extra plugins or anything and uh, make good reflective text, uh, nice looking text, not cheesy or crappy looking. So let's get started. This is what it's going to look like, guys. Um, this will be um, kind of an advanced tutorial if you haven't been using Cinema 4D a lot. So watch my beginner's tutorial first if you haven't. But anyways, um, this is how the text is going to be looking. <coughs> To load up here. Um, I think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, that's how the text. That's, that's how the text will be looking. Um, and uh, so, um, I'm gonna help you create this from scratch with no external plugins. And uh, I'll just walk you through the steps. So, uh, um, this is gonna be a good lighting tutorial and a uh, nice little text tutorial as well. So let's get started. So. First things first, <coughs> what you want to do is go into here and go to um, out or your render settings here and click 1280. I didn't have this before, but by 720, you always want to do this just unless you would know exactly what size you're going to use. That's a good size to use. And you're going to hit effect global illumination. There you go. That's the most important step of this whole thing. So you're gonna hit plane now and you're gonna drag this plane out like that. Mm -hmm. And um, then you are going to hit control C or command C and then hit command V or control V. Just copy and paste it twice and you have three planes now. This will help up this will help set up the studio. So we're gonna take this plane right here and we're just gonna bring it up to a 90 degree rotation and we're just gonna pop it out to here and let's, let's go check if that looks good so that looks good now we're gonna take this plane and we're going to pop it out 90 degrees negative so <coughs> alright uh, whatever it doesn't matter but anyways that looks pretty good not perfect nobody cares all right. Sure. Uh, so uh, yeah, now we have our studio set up. Let's get our lights. What you want to do for the lights? Actually, we don't have our studio set up all the way. Um, we're gonna have to do something. You're gonna have to go file new material, and just make a nice. Just leave the material like that, and we're good. Just drag it on to the walls. And uh, next for our lights, sounds dumb, but we're gonna take some spheres. Spheres, yeah, can't really say that word, but anyways, we're gonna just make the sphere a little bit smaller, and uh, probably like that. Uh, mm, that looks good. Uh, so now, what we're, we're gonna have to do is go to MoGraph and Cloner. I think you can find it in here. No. Anyways, yeah, anyways, you're just going to go to MoGraph, Cloner Object, or Cloner, either one, same thing. Cloner Object is the same thing. And drag your sphere and drop it onto the cloner, and it'll go, it'll create um, your cloner object as your sphere. And uh, you're going to want to drag this up here, and uh, you're going to go to Cloner Mode Radial, and you're going to choose 7. And I'm going to bring it about to a 300 radius. That looks oh, a little bit... And we're going to bring it to about a 238 radius, 236. And um, you're going to go to plane and hit XZ. That makes it flat. So uh, just take this up a little bit. And uh, what you're going to do now is uh, copy and paste the cloner. Now you have two cloners. This will give it a more of a little round lighting system. Anyways, that's what we're going to do for now. And um, now we're going to zoom in and drop it down and create a new text object, MoGraph text object or MoText. And we're just going to, we're actually going to back up a little bit and rotate this that way and that way and actually a little bit that way. And just choose whatever font you like. For this example, I'm going to be using a font called Abode. 
and I'm going to change this to about 86 font abode. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to want to drag this um, up a little bit. And then for our text, go back to our text, we're going to go to, yeah. So don't worry about your text right now. We're going to go back to the text in a second. I got sidetracked a little bit. Um, go to new material again. This is the well, this is actually what, the second most important part. Um, you got to make your color white, and you got to put diffusion, and you got to what am I saying diffusion? You got to put luminance, and you got to put luminance all the way up to two hundred, and hit enter. Follow these steps exactly, or else you won't have a retarded picture that probably will be all black. Drag that onto that cloner, and drag that onto that cloner. All right. Now you have our lights, but back to the text. We're gonna go to the text and um, click on the text and go to caps, hit fillet cap, and uh, just hit fillet cap here and just drag the radius up a little bit. But also, I mean, drag the steps to three and drag the radius to about nine or ten, depends on how you like it. Um, so I'm just gonna use ten and three. This just helps with the light, with the uh, reflections. It kind of rounds it out, and then make a new material. And this is a one of the harder parts. Just make reflection, and you're gonna go to Fresnel or Fresnel, whatever you want to say it. I say Fresnel, and you're gonna go to blue, or you don't have to go to blue, but obviously I'm going to blue. Um, oops! Make sure your color for your reflection is um, holy crap. We have to do a new one, new material. Um, Sorry guys, that was really stupid. Do the color first. Do the color blue or green or whatever you want to do. And uh, go to reflection, Fresnel, and drag, drag that down to about 2019, and drag that down to about 2019. So mix trace 20, brightness 20, whatever. And then drag it onto your text. And now, oops, wrong thing. Drag it onto your text. So. Now your text should be looking quite nice. Um, if it doesn't look good, then you, you don't like this tutorial, or you just this is not what you're looking for. But um, anyways, yeah. Let's see how it looks. It's rendering out, and that looks actually pretty nice. That was way better than what I expected. So um, <clears throat> anyways, oh that looks sweet. Ah, so um, yeah. Um, thanks guys for watching, this has been a tutorial on Cinema 40 text, and um, awesome, so just subscribe, and I'll have more tutorials in the future, thanks.